right, we're going to be working on crummel pup, and that is a South African staple. In South Africa, the staple that they use is a corn-based staple, and crummel pop is just one of the ways that they cook corn. Corn can be seen in different kinds of pops, from crumbly pop to nisima to inshima. Depending on what part of South Africa you go, you're most likely going to find a corn-based staple. So today what I'm going to be making is crummel pop, which is really cornmeal that has been cooked over a period of time. And it comes up very, very crumbly and it's kind of bland, but it is a very delicious meal if you mix it up with several things. Along with the crumble pap, I'm also going to be making chakalaka sauce, which is a hot, spicy, sweet sauce from South Africa. And I'll also be serving that with borwars. And borwars is a South African sausage. It's a mild sausage that can be seen really in any South African braai. And braai just means barbecue. Uh, borwars are very, very delicious and very, very mild. And it goes really well with the crumble pop and the chakalaka sauce. So let's get started. To make very good um, crumble pop, you're first of all going to need two and a half cups of boiling water. And I have my tea kettle up here boiling away. I'm going to get two and a half cups of hot water. And whenever you're doing crumble pop, you want to use a heavy pot because it's going to be a, it's a long cooking process. So you need a pot that can be able to stand up to that. So I have exactly two and a half cups of hot water here. I turn that off. Okay. And I'll place that pot under like medium heat, about a teaspoonful of salt in there. And we're going to bring this water to boil in this pot before we go ahead and add our cornmeal. Now the cornmeal that you're going to see used for crumble pop or mealy pop or whatever pop you're going to find in South Africa is a very fine cornmeal and usually you see several types on the, in the grocery stores or if you go to a specialty grocery store that carries African food products look for Iwisa. I prefer Iwisa. It's a great brand for crumble pop. So take a look at that. The water is not boiling yet. I'll give that about another minute and then we'll start with that. All right, my water is boiling. I'll go ahead and add two and a half cups of the corn powder, or the corn powder, and you want to add it in one in a mound, really, all in one place. I honestly don't know why, but this is how I was taught. Okay, you're going to take this off of the heat and let it sit for about five minutes and then you bring it back to the heat and mix it at that point with a wooden spoon. So we're going to let that sit for about five minutes. Okay, so my caramel pop has been resting for about five minutes now. It's time for me to go ahead and mix that. You're going to use a wooden spoon when mixing this. And you want to mix this until all the water has been absorbed by that corn flour or the cornmeal. And by the time your crumble pop is done, it should have a nice crumbly texture, not too dry, but you know, a little dry, okay? Okay. To this, I will be adding some corn some frozen corn to this, and I have some here for this purpose. And really half a cup of corn will do with this. And the reason I have the corn in there is just to add texture to the meal and to make it a little bit more interesting. I like it with the corn in there. And as I said, crumble pop takes time to cook. So that's why you want to use a heavy pan that can be able to withstand that time, uh, that time for the cooking process. Now we're going to let this steam for about an hour. It takes a whole hour to steam this. You want to do this on low to medium heat. 
really as low as, actually low heat is actually better. And you want to check on this every 10 minutes and mix it very well so you don't have burning. It can burn. You can't overcook caramel pepper, but it can burn. So you want to make sure that you're checking it regularly, at least once every 10 minutes to, to ensure that it doesn't burn from the bottom. We're going to be covering that and checking that every 10 minutes. Uh, 